Project UK Gaming here bringing you a new series called Saving Pompey and basically this series I'm going to be playing career mode because I think our ultimate team's kind of been overused really I think every series I've done has been ultimate team and every series online has been ultimate team so anyway I thought I'd go and play some career mode and basically this series I'm going to try and say Portsmouth Football Club for you who don't really know anything about Portsmouth basically real life they went into some money issues I think the old taxes like of 1.5 million Basically, on the game, we're going to try and get them back to their glory days when there's one FA Cup and there's runners up in FA Cups with Navy Redknapp Major. So, I'm going to try and get them back into Premiership and actually try and win them an FA Cup. And I'm even going to try and get into the Champions League. I'm going to do this on Legendary as well to try and make it even harder for myself. And I've even put the board on Legendary and for you people who think that has no difference. It actually makes it harder because they expect you to do more. Like Portsmouth expect me to fight for promotion on this. And they also give you less money as I think you could do it with like the, the players they give you. So I actually end up going for a McEachern in this career mode. I end up trying to loan him from Chelsea. Because I think loan's the way to go on Football Manager and FIFA career mode. Because obviously teams want to loan people out to try and get them some experience so like on the field, out there, in the world. They don't want to keep them on the bench for the reserves. So I, that's why I went for McEachern. I actually went for a couple more like Turnbull and people like that. But obviously they don't want to come down to the championship. I think they want to check, try and get into the Chelsea team. And actually assimilate all the friendlies because I don't see the point in me playing them. Because it's just a waste of time. And it'd be a kind of waste of some of the video. So actually, I actually start what I start simming my matches, try and get into get into the championship season. And actually, my first match is Ipswich. I do I don't even do the press conference because that's an also a waste of time. But actually, Ipswich is a really good team, real life, challenging for promotion. I don't think they're doing the best, but obviously they go up there, trying their hardest. They've got some good players such as Chopra and people like that. Basically, this team very pacey. Got some good finishers, and as you can see, uh, in the arena, playing with the, playing with the new the new recruit McEachern, new loanee. Uh, I need I might need I need your help in the comments to try and help me find some players on the Korean mode, like secret gems, because I actually don't really know a lot. I don't know a lot about Portsmouth either. So it'd be good if some Portsmouth fans could help me out, tell me where I should be starting. Because right now I'm letting the assistant choose. And straight away, I actually almost got 1 0 up with that Husklep, the one KSI done a beast about. Brilliant player, 4 star skill moves, he got a beastie finish. I actually I use him a lot in this match, if you'll notice, because he actually is a brilliant player. And I get consecutive corners from his first shot, and actually almost scored both of them. And this is a very good start. I, I felt like I could win this, going at them constantly. Ipswich just, just basically, the computer just turned off. I think career mode legendary is actually harder than online sometimes because obviously the computer can read you like a book. But the switch actually go one nil up when Chopper goes through and there's a nice little finish. Kind of annoying but whatever, it's a good finish. But then they actually go two nil up when Chopper goes through again and he absolutely buries me and I actually try and block it off a line but obviously just didn't get to it. So at half time I decided I needed to make some changes. I actually just changed everything because I started subbing off strikers, put a hustle left up front. I changed a lot really. I thought if I put some p energy on, some pace, I could change the game, kind of go at him, go, go at him, I mean go at the computer more. And from straight from the first whistle, I actually started dominating this game a lot. But the Ipswich are just really good at counter attacks, they could, they could read me like a book when I was attacking myself, so they're good at countering. And I actually put, ended up putting it back to 2 1 in Husklep. It was a nice little play, got through on goal and finesses it in. Brilliant by Husklep. I'm actually, I think he's one of the best player Portsmouth have really, so I'm going to keep passing to him a lot. And then I pass it to him again, and I do a little knock on, and then lose my defender, knock it in, 2-2, two -two, brilliant comeback, I was really like, up for this. I felt I felt like I could win this, but then they just do a da like, st stab in the back here, and they do a chip through ball, cross, across, across the box, and tap it in. Very frustrating, but obviously... It's a computer, they don't care about sweating or anything. And J. Emmanuel Thomas, who used to play for Arsenal, goes through and buries it, makes it 4-2. This game got, made, just made me feel sick, man, because I should have won it. Just, it's just so annoying that I ended up losing. And anyway, I actually ended up, I got a League Cup match next against Stevenage, so I, ha I knew I had to win, really. If I lost to Stevenage, I would have felt gutted. I probably would have went bad into the other games. 
But then against Stevenage, I went out there with a different team. I had to rest some people. Husk that wasn't even in my team at all, not the squad, bench or anything. Obviously, I'm trying to get, trying to rest him for the league. So straight from the first whistle, I actually dominate. Battering Stevenage, almost actually score in the first minute. And then actually do a chip through ball, go through on goal and finish it. Brilliant finish. Well, well, brilliant finish after the save from the keeper. And Ben Jarni gets it in. And then just another good play. And end up making it 2-0 two, two with a brilliant finish from McEachern. McEachern's a brilliant player, a nice finish. But then the turning point of the game happens. When I get in, I get actually get an injury when Ben Ayoum gets injured right after McEachern. And this actually just really frustrated me. Yeah, after this, I learned he's out for three months, which is kind of annoying. Obviously, the game's built to give injuries out just randomly. I've actually played Korean Mail before, and I actually end up always getting injuries first match. I don't know if it's some kind of curse or something, but I actually have to send someone, some youngster, and I don't even know. He, he just kind of left gaps in my defence. I actually end up conceding to Stevenage and they end up pulling it back to 2 1. But then they do a nice through ball and a nice little finish. And I was actually really panicking here. And then, towards the end of the match, basically cross the lane, header it in, and that is it 2 2. And we actually ended up going to extra time. We almost scored an extra time a couple of times, but we actually ended up going to penalties and absolutely destroyed them in penalties. I think they scored one and I scored all of mine. So actually winning penalties, got through to the next uh, next round. I should have won that in just normal time. I shouldn't have really took that to penalties. But anyway, I leave a light for this new series. I'm sorry if I sounded like sluggish, but I've, it's really late at night and I'm just bored, so I wanted to do this. Make sure to check out my other um, videos such as montage and peace out.